popping with the squad how y'all living how y'all doing it's your boy amari we back with another one okay another one all right so uh this one this is this is a late throwback thursday reaction so i apologize work schedule's just been kind of hectic but um this is another throwback thursday jam and uh this one means a lot to me like personally it just means a whole lot to me um First off, I don't know if I've said this, I probably have in a number of videos, but Pride slash D Pride slash Russell is probably my favorite rapper. And I'm not going to sit up here and say that necessarily I think he's the best rapper ever, but I think he is extremely talented. I think he is one of my favorites. He's I've pretty much listened to music, listened to his music the entire span of his career and i'm talking back from like mars music and his like very first mixtape all the way up to where he is now doing fucking um blueberry fago covers okay so i've been rocking with this kid a long time and i think this is probably one of my favorite songs of all time um just because the very first time I heard this song, I had a lot of emotional baggage. I was going through a very tough time. My father had just passed away, um, and I, 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 I was going into college, and I was, it, it was just a lot going on. Um, so when I heard this, I, I, I literally like broke down crying, and now all of my friends know. Um, all of them know what this song means to me. They know the memories it brings back to me. They know w w where I was mentally and all that stuff. Um, it's just, yeah, it, it brings back a lot of a lot of experiences. So um, it might be a little tough for me. Sorry for the long intro, but um, like I said, one of my favorite songs. And so, like I said, he's multi-talented. Y'all saw him singing on Blueberry Fago cover. And now he's about to start rapping. And this is, like, y'all just got to listen, all right? So drop down to the comments. Let me know how y'all thought about, what y'all thought about this one, how y'all felt about this one. And, um, yeah, this is me really letting you guys into me. What is, what, what is you know, close to me. Um so yeah, hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit that notification bell as well. Let's jump into it. This is at the time he was going by Pride, but you know, right now he's going by Russell. So this is Russell with uh, the Roses intro. Um, actually, go check out I Don't Belong Here. Great, great work. Um, but yeah, here we go. This one from my mama though. This one from my I officially spent 10 years chasing my dream People think I really made it, but it ain't what it seems Still the lavish dog of town, cause I never blew up But I can't stress about it, all that hate is left in the dust Shit, it was out with the old crew, and with the new crew Everybody gave up, being famous ain't come too soon Damn. So this part right here actually kinda hit home quite a bit Um I hadn't spent 10 years chasing my dream, that's for sure. But I spent, I had spent so much time talking about, at the time, what I thought was my dream with my best friends, with my father, the, the, the man who was actually helping me flush all this, all these ideas out. And, um, I really felt like I was onto something right around the time that he passed away. And I really felt like we, we could have went somewhere. And so all the time, I, I'm just constantly thinking to myself, what would have happened to that dream if, you know, he were still here? But, um, yeah, uh, I had a lot of friends who wanted to tag along, and I had a lot of friends or associates slash work companions slash acquaintances, whatever you want to call them. I had a lot of people who, honestly, I felt like gave up on the dream that we had because it wasn't coming fast enough there was just so much that i felt just fell to pieces um and then he goes on to say out with the old crew and with the new crew um 
once I got to college, of course, because y'all if, if y'all can see my personality through these videos i'm not afraid to talk i'm loud i'm all over the place i'm very sociable i'm very friendly i didn't have any trouble making new friends um and so there were times when it genuinely felt like i was throwing out all of my all of my old friends and here come these new guys um and of course now I feel like that's silly to say because my lifelong friends are always going to be my lifelong friends but at the same time it's like damn it's like damn I maybe if I would have made a different decision here and there maybe things would have turned out different but you know back into it let's go Danny watch my mama die man that be my real brother he's still working 9 to 5 miss ain't come too soon Danny watch my mama die man that be my real brother he's and I just have to shout out all my all my niggas real quick. I have to shout out my guy Jason. I have to shout actually I have to shout out my boy Jason. Um, that's lowercase J with a period at the end. Um, go look him up. He's uh, on Instagram as unapologetically Jason. Um, go stream his music. He got some projects coming soon. But um, yeah. But also shout out to my brothers Elijah. Shout out to Jordan. Shout out to Banton because those guys like i i it was at a point where i couldn't even be home i didn't want to be home um and the day that my father passed i was with these guys these guys were taking care of me looking after me they knew i was a wreck they have my back from the beginning so you know i appreciate them and i love them with all my heart and now i'm always gonna ride for them so yeah i just have to point that out real quick they gave up being famous ain't come too soon Danny watch my mama die man that be my real brother he's still working nine to five you know that I feel for him and my team's all ready we've all been waiting on a busy lavish life that these youngins got for the take and see my friends go broke I've been broke once too heard that Redway died before his dreams could come true shit that scared me cause he wanted shit as bad as I wanted I dropped out of school I'm seeing all my friends stuck in college mama knew that wasn't me she knew I'd stay living strong and she's the one and um it's kind of it's kind of weird because like I don't want to say it's weird but basically there was a point where I wanted to drop out of college um and I felt I I just felt like it, it it wasn't doing me any good. I felt like, you know, things at home would be better if I were back home. But um ultimately I made the decision to stay. I didn't go nowhere. Um and so yeah, it's I I kind of feel like if my father were there he would have he definitely would have understood that uh that I could do big things with or without college but of course I had to not even I had to I wanted to be the one to break the break the chain break the cycle I had to I wanted to graduate I wanted to be something my family could be proud of and so of course I stayed but yeah that's that woman I've been working for I hate that she's gone she told me I mean she knew I'd stay living strong and she's the woman I've been working for I hate that she's gone she told me I got a lot more to say so and so every time I hear that line I'm sorry I'm pausing a lot like I said there's just a lot behind this song to me um, like I said this song means so much to me so if you guys want to skip go ahead um, but basically that line right there where he says um she used to tell me that you deserve the world and i can vividly hear and vividly see and hear it coming out of my dad's mouth just you have no idea what you're destined for or man you're so smart or man like you're gonna make it like you and all this all of this like going through my head and i'm just like nah i i wouldn't be any of this without you um and so the way he's kind of imitating his mom's voice or reflecting on his mom's voice, hearing his mom's voice say that in the same way I'm hearing my dad say those kind of things to me. So it's yeah, it hits home. Wasn't me. She knew I'd stay living strong and she's the woman I've been working for. I hate that she's gone. She told me I got a lot more to say. So talk your shit, pride. Talk your shit. Shit, I was in the hospital telling mama to Okay, and so I'm gonna try not to <laughs> Fuck um, I'm gonna try not to cry right now Um, first off And second off, this is where it gets really difficult for me Because I 
I feel like I feel like this is the experience I had showing up to the hospital seeing seeing them trying to yeah it's just whew, all right I don't think I'll be able to pause through this part so y'all just listen and like try to understand uh this is this this hurt a lot a lot a lot Shit, I was in the hospital telling mama to breathe As she's struggling for air with a mask looking at me Couldn't say a single word, death was coming way sooner As I look and heard the doctor say we're going to lose her What you know about watching your mom pass in the flesh With your family trying to hold her as she screams on a bed Hair in the cries of your father, sister, your aunt and your friends Knowing the minutes to them second she's about to be dead Holding her hand as you're crying And she's taking slow breaths Running your fingers through her hair, shoulders getting all tense Touching lifeless fingers knowing that's the last time you'll see her At the funeral Holding emotions and getting deeper People telling you that you gon' hold it down and get better And all you think about is making it and feel more pressure Your screams are Okay, and so I just have to <laughs> Oh my god, bro, I'm actually crying right now That's ridiculous Oh man, um Uh, this part, that part right there More specifically Um Because I feel like every child or most most children have had that moment where their mother or their father has told them that, you know, when I'm gone, you're going to have to hold it down. You know, when I leave, it's going to be up to you. And I, I've heard I, I had heard that at some at so at so many points. I just it was I I've heard that so many points from my dad before he passed and um. I don't know, man. It's like he said, all you think about is making it and feel more pressure. And so it was like, I I need him. I need him here to help me. I'm not ready for him to go. Like, how am I supposed to make it? How am I supposed to do what he did for this family? How am I supposed? <laughs> how am I supposed to make it like this? And I don't know, man. It's just. Touching lifeless fingers knowing that's the last time you'll see her At the funeral holding emotions and getting deeper People telling you that you gon' hold it down and get better And all you think about is making it and feel more pressure Hearing screams of her pain, hearing shit day to day Since April 9th when Rose had Tino died, I ain't been the same My priorities switching, spending money like crazy Losing happiness slow And so, this part, he starts to go in how it affected him And so... For me personally, I felt like me and him were on the same page with that. I felt like we were literally experiencing the same thing um, because honestly, um, I was going through the same exact things that he is talking about in this song. Um, and, and it's honestly crazy. So just 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 pay attention. This is this is the aftermath. That I ain't been the same, my priorities switching Spending money like crazy, losing happiness slowly My career's getting shaky, mama give me a sign Mama give me some hope, I gotta do this for the fam Mama, dad's getting old, so much grief seeing that man work I can't hide it, balling in the club, I got a family to finance Fuck it, I'm about to hustle, throwing shit to invest it I lost my special qualities, ain't afraid to confess it Used to be 17, spitting better than these older dudes Now I'm 22, ain't just nothing but an old excuse Album by myself by my lonesome, I just bought me a bottle. I pop this shit now. I'm on one, drinking away my sorrows. Cause reality's fucked. Papa crying for his wife, homie. I can't make this up. My little sister's 14, growing without a rival. Tell my family I'm gonna make it. Shit is vital. They used to tell me. Uh, just a little more, just a tiny bit more. Listen, hear me out. Uh, fuck the cars, fuck the chicks, fuck the chains. People really want the money, but they never want the fame. I'm just into the attention while people screaming my name. Cause I started from the bedroom, baby. Look how far I came. I can't drag this shit longer. My other songs are saying, gotta keep it strong. The bullshit, all emotions still maintain. This is Russell Lantino. This is the first page of the story about what all of these haters and critics made. This is me.
smart kid and knowing him how he get along with any kind of people young people old people bad person good person he could get along with anybody knowing that he have that kind of qualities to himself as a mother i have to convince myself i have to let him go Um, yeah, well, that, <laughs> that was the Roses intro from Pride, yeah, aka Russell, but, uh, yeah, I just, I don't know, I, I got up and I, I, I felt like sharing a piece of me today, um, yeah, whew, it's, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of emotionally draining, mentally draining to listen to this song, but at the same time, it just, I don't know. I get. I feel like one of the few things that got me through that that chapter in my life was just the fact that I knew there was somebody else that understood how I was feeling, that understood what it was like. And I'm not. I'm not stupid. I know, of course. There's billions of people in this world. We've. Uh, there's people that have had similar experiences and all that stuff. And. But sometimes you just need that verbal confirmation that you just need somebody almost talk back to you to, to tell you not to worry and while I was hearing that from my friends hearing this song genuinely like for some reason that got through to me and yeah um like I said that 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 song just meant a lot to me um it's probably one of the biggest reasons why he became my favorite rapper my favorite artist to be honest um but yeah so Drop down to the comments. Let me know what y'all thought. Um, let's have a conversation. And uh, yeah. But also hit that like button. Hit that sub button. Hit that notification bell as well. I appreciate y'all for watching. Thanks for the support. Alright. And um, I'll see y'all next video. I'm out.